three. Survived week three. COVID-19. So here's the deal. I see a lot of people doing it. I kind of think I'm going to be disappointed in this one. This one, I don't know. So what do we have? We've got, as you can see, they took real good care. And we got the Tiny Mac. And we've got the Double Big Mac. I kind of think I'm going to be let down on that. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. But first, the Tiny Mac. All beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese. Definitely just schlopped together. So let's see. Doesn't look, if I had a picture of it, there's no way the picture looks like this pathetic, sorry, poveretta of a sandwich, but. As I expected, I actually like the Tiny Mac. It's got the sauce and everything. You know what it's good for? It's good for a sneaky snack. I know you don't know what a sneaky snack is. Freddy Zoller came up with that term. That's something midday. You sneak a little snack in. Nothing counts. Sneaky snack. That's good for a sneaky snack. Now, oh my god, look at this disaster already. As I open it, here's what I was afraid of, and this is what it is. Alright, can we zoom in at least a little bit on this? We got in there? Mm -hmm. Alright, nice and clear? Yep. Alright, so we got mess, that, we're just going to dissect it. See that? No cheese, I knew it. Why would you have now? You're doubling the meat, no cheese, a very light schmear. All right, I, I, I had that funny feeling. So as you could see, this, the double Big Mac. I don't know why they would do that, but let's see what we got here. And my hunch was right. Just a little bit of sauce on top. With four patties, which uh, let's face it, the four patties equals a regular human patty. But with the four patties, dry... A F. They should have. You got to add more cheese. You got to add more cheese. You got to add more. Come on. You know. You got to step up your game. You know. I, I'm already done. B K has let me down so much. I'm done. Done with B K. Mickey D's. The few times I do go fast food now. Come on. Step up your game. You know. I mean, really. Which leads me to now. You know, real quick. I just wanna. I was gonna go on a Facebook rant. But something happened today that I'm going to save my Facebook rant for another thing. But, uh, you know, now everybody's social distancing. Six feet apart. I get it. But here's what I don't understand. So I'm driving today down Lincoln Ave. Leaving work. Driving down Lincoln Ave. Glen Rock area. And now this girl, to avoid the guy on the sidewalk, she's jogging... She jogs into the middle of the street and gives me like one of these. I, I, 
maybe I'm not understanding the rules. So does that mean I'm not supposed... So now joggers have... They're going to commit oncoming traffic. It, you know what? And that's exactly the reason why during COVID-19, I said to my wife, I said, you know what? I'm giving up jogging because I just don't understand the rules. I don't understand the jogging rules right now. So no more jogging for me until COVID-19 is done. That's that. So Tiny Mac, good double Big Mac. Unless you're drinking like a gallon of Gatorade, that's it. And you know what? I'm sorry. You're not going to see me jogging until COVID-19 is done. It is what it is. So I'll just drive around. Till then. Mm.